What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Blackout game mode Alcatraz, which is a battle royale version of the ever so popular zombies map Mob of the Dead, which is a horrified zombified theme map based off the Alcatraz prison in San Francisco, California. But like I said, I want to give you guys my initial thoughts and first impressions on the game mode. And as of now, there's only quads available. I'm not sure if they're going to add solos or duos. But with quads, I have definitely had a little bit of a struggle adjusting to the new settings design for Alcatraz. First off, you may have noticed that the deploy speed has been increased. I guess that's for, you know, in order to, I guess, increase the fast close quarters gunfights, which is what the main theme of this game mode is for. And there's a total of 40 players in every single game, so 10 total teams. And during the match, each player has a total of 5 respawns, as long as there's at least one player alive for your team. If everybody dies on your team, then obviously you have lost. And then you may have also noticed that you deploy into the game from this little red portal. It honestly looks like a fucking baby coming out of a woman's vagina, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, YouTube, you, you probably are gonna ban me for saying that, but shit, that's what it looks like, okay? Um, but yeah, definitely, like I said, very, very hectic, very fast. Uh, it's still a lot of fun, though, for sure. Um, it's taken me a couple games to get used to the game mode, um, but it, it's an acquired, I guess, feel f for the game mode. Um, I'm not saying it's bad, but it does take a couple games to get used to and, and adjust to the new settings. But in general, I'm having a lot of fun with this map. Um, they've added some new locations onto Mob of the Dead or the remastered Alcatraz Battle Royale version. There's some new locations to expand the map, make it a little bit bigger. And I, I still find myself getting into a lot of gunfights literally within like a couple minutes or so. Maybe like one minute. Um, very, very fast, hectic game mode. But all in all, very, very fun. Now on screen is the map layout for Alcatraz. I prefer to land on these outside areas of the map. Definitely nowhere near that prison because everybody literally lands there. And I find myself not getting to a gun in time or I'm going to get third partied from a different team. So those outer regions of the map are where I would recommend landing. The storm is also still a threat to you guys and zombies as well. That's something you want to be mindful of. So make sure that you check parts of the map where players may be on top of. Also check your corners. Cannot stress that enough. Always, always, always assume there's going to be another player in the same room as you are. I also find myself running into games pretty fast. Um, each game has lasted for about 10 to 15 minutes, whereas regular core game modes may last for about 15 to 25 minutes. Maybe a little bit more, but th that's just the general average I've, I've found myself getting into games. Um, but yeah, in general, like I said, I'm loving the game mode so far, but it will take you a few games to adjust to the craziness. You will die very fast in some of those games. So again, make sure you check those corners and always think that somebody is in the same room as you are. I I really cannot find any complaints except with how bad the Blundergat shotgun is. If you find this gun from the zombie mystery box, do not use it. The Mog shotgun is where your money is. I recommend using that for Alcatraz. Assault rifles are okay, but I prefer to use SMGs because most of them do have a little bit of a faster fire rate. So my setup has been a shoddy with a sub for a secondary. But then lastly here, I want to show you guys a preview for the Arsenal Sandstorm map. If you guys didn't know, just like Contraband got a reskin, Arsenal has one, but it's being ravaged by a Sandstorm. It's going to be free for all players. However, I I do kind of wish we can get new maps for free instead of just a simple reskin. I mean, it's still cool to play on a map with a different theme behind it. However, I don't know. I'm just really bored of the standard multiplayer maps. The Black Ops Pass maps really haven't been the most enjoyable for me. Um, but yeah, just a heads up, that's coming by the end of this operation. And also, Blackout is going to be free to play for everyone up until April 30th if you have a PlayStation Plus subscription or an Xbox One or Xbox Live membership. So definitely try the game out if you haven't, and please tell me your thoughts about uh, the game mode Alcatraz and, and Blackout in general down below in the comments. And also, please tell me your first impressions on Blackout Alcatraz in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I love y'all so, so much. I'm sorry for the little hiatus here. 
Um, if you guys have been following me over on Twitter, then you may have known that my computer was broken for a couple days. Whenever I would boot the damn thing, it would just freeze up within like the next 30 seconds to one minute. Um, but after $200 later, I, I finally got the damn thing fixed up here. I'm sorry for not posting anything for like about five days or so, but I'm back now. I got the PC up and running here. And so yeah, expect some more streams coming out this weekend. I'm gonna be posting more videos too, more content for sure. And yeah, thank you guys so much for your support recently. It really does mean a whole lot. I love you guys with all my heart. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.